Hi, I'm Raven Walsh, and I'm going to be your WAD coach for today, Wednesday, February 11th. And our topic for today is going to be getting off the emotional roller coaster. And um, some of you that are brand new in this business, that this might seem like a crazy concept, or you might already be thinking like, yeah, I kind of need to do that. <clears throat> and I know for anybody that's been in the business for a while, like my husband and I have been, um, it's definitely something that will present itself from time to time. And um, as your success in AdvoCare grows, um, you know, you have to keep in perspective what you're doing, where you're going, and how far you've come. And so what made me think of this recently um, in our own business is that we have a few different people that, um, you know, have been looking very promising as far as what they're going to do, um, starting out their businesses, um, wanting to go to advisor, their path to getting there, having different stumbling blocks and disappointments and, and things of that nature. And, um, you know, I realized that I was starting to feel a little bit dragged down by some of the obstacles and, um, some of the maybe pushback or negativity that I was getting um, from people that, you know, had said, yeah, I do want to be a part of this and then have, you know, since changed their mind. And I had to think about, for one, I've actually come a really long way um, in riding the emotional roller coaster. But two, that it's crazy to think that this opportunity, the Avocare opportunity has allowed for me last January, just one year ago, I was, um, you know, working my full-time job and I, we, my husband and I were not earning very much income with our AdvoCare business. And, um, we just got really intentional. We got to work, you know, started spending 10 or so hours a week, just carved out around our crazy lives. And by doing so, that took us to a point of earning an extra $2,000 a month that allowed for us to pay off some debt, put some money in savings. And I walked away from my full-time job in October to be a full-time mommy, which is what my dream job is. So literally everything changed for us in less than one year's time. And so when you think of it that way, it, it's actually quite exciting to go, you know what, maybe if the people that I'm, I'm working with, you know, maybe they don't want it, maybe they don't see it for themselves. There's other people out there that do want this and I should just go work with them instead, you know? And so just keeping that right perspective of what you want, where you're going, what you're doing. And um, I know something that probably any of the leaders on my team could tell you I've said, you know, sometimes I'll talk to people that say, oh, yeah, you know, if I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go straight to advisor. Oh, I'm going to build a business. And, um, you know, they just talk about all that they want to do, but, you know, haven't really defined what it is that they want, where they're going. And for whatever reason, just decide right now is not the right timing for them or change their mind and say, you know, oh, it's not a good fit. You know, I thought about it. You know, we're not, we're not going to want to be a part of AdvoCare. And, um, you know, you just have to go back to what it is that you're here for, because unfortunately, sometimes even after multiple exposures, people don't see what it is that we have our hands on with AdvoCare. And so if you're riding the roller coaster with them, then it's going to bum you out. You're not going to talk to the next person. You're not going to find the people that really want this thing like you do. And so what my team has, you know, certainly heard me say is like, if I'm on the call with somebody and, you know, they tell me they want to go straight to advisor and, you know, I just, when we talk about it later, I say, you know what? I don't get held up in what people say that they're going to do. I stay on track for what people actually do. So I, I you know, I love those words and it's like, oh, I want to get to advisor and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. That's great. Show me, you know, show me that you do want this and I'm going to lead you every step of the way. And then that's really what separates people apart is when they're ready to match the action to the words that are coming out of their mouths. And so just keep in mind that, you know, whether you're brand new and you're just leading yourself or you've got a team of people that you're leading, you are the therm the thermostat for your team. So if you're getting held up in no's in, you know, what someone might do or might not do and you invest all your efforts into that, then you are going to lose sight of 
where you're actually going. And you need to be the thermostat of, you know what, if I talk to 10 people and they all, you know, said they want this and they've changed their mind for whatever reason, they talked to their Aunt Sally and Aunt Sally said, boo, and they ran away. Well, that's fine. Go talk to the 11th person. And you need to have that same level of excitement and conviction when you talk to number 11 as you did number one. And you might even need to ramp it up a notch because seriously, if you've talked to 10 people and they all thought they wanted this and changed their mind and whatever, then you are so close to finding the person that really does want to do this and really does want to lock arms with you. So um, take encouragement to know that um, you are really close to breakthrough. And even if you just had your biggest paycheck ever, that you can sometimes right behind it come up and go, oh man, is is this for me? Persist without exception. Do it.